everybody. So right now we're outside the shop and in this video we are going to end up cutting some stuff but the focus on this is getting the handle and everything shaped to how it looks right now. I'll give you all a close up whenever we get to the outro and everything but I wanted to go ahead and cut something for you all real quick and then in the outro we're going to go ahead cut the rest of this stuff and do all of that. But for right now to give you an idea how sharp this thing is there you go. We're going to get a lot more cutting by the end of this. Enjoy the handle shaping. So like I said in the intro, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut some more stuff. Now you already saw me do the, the water bottle and everything. It is just crazy. I mean, that is about as ridiculous as you can cut a water bottle. But let's go ahead and bring these down. We got ourselves a two liter bottle. I think it's a, uh, think it's enough to cut through this. Uh, I'd say so. 
I mean, that's cutting through almost <laughs> all the way from top to bottom. So we got that. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do a melon. So what do you think? Will it cut through a melon? This one, I'm just gonna go sideways. That, uh, that enough? What do you think? It's like some fruit ninja right there. Now, when it comes to the, the pineapple, we're gonna end up eating the pineapple and everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and cut through the top here so we can end up eating the rest of that. We'll probably end up planting this and seeing if we can grow it. But right now, <laughs> it, is, uh, it is absolutely ridiculously sharp. Let's do a, a paper towel holder here, a little paper towel roll. What do, you, what do you think? Will it cut? Right now we have a whole bunch of, uh, you know, juice on here and everything, but there's your, your handle. Of course, I'm gonna do some, some better shots as we're rolling the, the outro music and everything. So you can actually see a better close-up of the handle. But this thing is just absolutely awesome. I really, really, really am happy with how this turned out. And hopefully y'all are too. Hopefully y'all think that this was definitely the way to go with the hammer forge area on the top there, where the flats are, and down in the Ricasso area. And then hopefully the, the handle, whenever you see it like this, makes more sense. Because I had a few people ask me, you know, why don't you move this piece towards the front, kind of like how a bolster would be. Well, the whole point behind that is your hand sits where the black G10 is. So all of this is visible whenever you're holding it. If I would have shifted this up to the front, your hand would be covering it unless you were displaying it. And the whole point is you use these things. You don't just put them on display. So I wanted all the bling to show when my hand was on it and that's why I did it that way. Now, one of the cool things about this is being able to do this transition from the flats into the, the convex tip there. I really like how that turned out. It mirrors perfectly on both sides. And this is just absolutely awesome. And it is, like I said, I mean, it's insanely sharp. I mean, it is just ridiculously sharp. <laughs> but guys y'all tell me what y'all think like I said on the outro music I'll go ahead and show some close-ups of the handle and everything so y'all see that but I'm interested to know what y'all what y'all think about this so if y'all would leave a comment in the comment section uh, if you haven't yet give this video a like share this video or one of my other videos and guys make sure you subscribe at a 50,000 subscribers, we're gonna go ahead and do a Damascus build giveaway. So y'all will have that to look forward to. But guys, thanks for coming by. Thanks for spending your time with me. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. I'll catch y'all next time.